Welcome to Spotlight. Would wide receiver Sterling Shepard in limited practice, the cause being a fractured thumb. Corey Coleman out for the entire season because of his torn ACL. Darius Slayton impaired at his hamstring strain. And Golden Tate's suspension, leading him to miss the first four games of the 2019 season, at least at this point that we are in the year. The New York Giants wide receiver room has been in a bit of a disarray to say the least. Players who only ever saw second and third team snaps in practice, and those who have never seen the light of NFL competition, are now asked to step up in a larger role than they could have hoped for before. Fortunately for the Giants, they've had a much worse experience with the wide receiver room and its injuries in the past. To be specific, the 2017 season, the Giants saw almost their entire wide receiver room get knocked out in one game, a week 5 game against the Chargers, and in that season, it proved to be one of the many things that led to their downfall. So fortunately since then, they've learned one solution to the injury problem, and that is developing a deep core. One of the many receivers asked to step up this year was Benny Fowler. Fowler is a former Bronco, former Patriot, and former Chicago Bear, who was originally an undrafted free agent for the Broncos in 2014, won Super Bowl 50 with that 2015 Broncos team, and is probably most famous for catching Peyton Manning's final throw in the NFL. The Giants signed him in the middle of the 2018 season, right after he was released by the Chicago Bears, and then released by the New England Patriots where he played 10 games for the New York Giants, primarily in a backup and sometimes third wide receiver role. While he didn't wow or shock anyone with his game, he was consistent enough in his efforts and used his prior NFL experience to earn himself another contract with the team. That being said, Fowler has only shown at the NFL level experience to play as what he was for the Giants, a backup role and third wide receiver position. But coming into this year, it seems that there's been a fire lit under his belly. He has had a great training camp after an all right OTA in spring training session, where the aforementioned receivers were still healthy. So this leads some of us to believe that maybe with more playing time and more development, Fowler could become something great for this Giants team, or maybe even just something good. Honestly, all we really need are reliable receiving options on the outside right now. Since stepping into his new role, Fowler has become a favorite target of Daniel Jones and a noticeable receiver for Eli Manning, nabbing a few touchdown passes and difficult receptions along the way along a greatly improved secondary, which consists of Janoris Jenkins and rookie standouts such as DeAndre Baker and Julian Love. Not to mention returning secondary units such as Grant Haley and Michael Thomas. And once again, given the fact that he is a great outside target on a receiver core that consists of many great inside and slot receivers, not to say that they cannot work on the outside, but their bread and butter and their best game has always been on the inside, we need somebody that is reliable and consistent to throw to on outside the seams and outside the numbers on the football field. It is not just the various reporters and fans who have been paying close attention to this team that has noticed the improvement in Benny Fowler. The head coach Pat Shermer was impressed stating that Fowler is a guy that can play all positions. He's smart, he has good instincts, and is able to pick up on things quickly. He's been able to go from being an X to a Z and a Z to an X. That flexibility is important and it is a flexibility that has been shown throughout the team as it seems that's what they're going for. Players that can confuse the opposing defenses and even on the, our own defensive side that could confuse the opposing offenses. Players that aren't just one trick ponies that could move inside and out, that could be powerful and fast, that could be strong and quick. This Giants team is looking to be the unexpected. They're looking to be versatile, looking to be flexible.
Can Benny Fowler fit inside this receiver core where a spotlight has been put on him? In my opinion, yes. He has shown through his hard work and through the natural talent that he has, his own body size, his skill. And I mean, playing with Peyton Manning doesn't just leave you empty handed, but he's shown that he has the ability to be a good third receiving option. And he's definitely shown the work ethic that he's willing to work for it, that he's willing to go through all the tough processes and the testing and the practices in order to get that third receiving spot. And right now, where we might need him for this upcoming season, depending on how players recover from injury and depending on how legal issues sort themselves out, Benny Fowler could be a surprise to the NFL this upcoming year. But that's just my opinion. This was Spotlight with no name. Hey, what's up, guys? It's No Name with this ending message here. This is something new that kind of popped into my mind that I wanted to do. Just little short videos on players that I think could make a difference in this upcoming season for the New York Giants. And once again, as I say, these are players that I think can make a difference. They definitely, it's not a prediction that they will, but I just think they have the potential. And just through what they've shown us from OTAs and training camp, maybe they could surprise a few people. As of right now, I only have one more spotlight video planned. And I, the way I plan to do them is as they come to me, players that show out to me, that's how I'll do the videos. It's not exactly like I have a list of players right now. And of course, if you guys like it, you can make your requests. But this was just sort of also like a testing thing. Let me know what you all think. I'm out.